Another interesting function that there is at SciPy signal is the spectrogram function. For our seminar, don't use this. If you use this, you're going to fail. You need to use the STFT function. But there is this function called the spectrogram, and it computes a spectrogram with consecutive Fourier transforms. So spectrograms can be used as a way of visualizing the change of non-stationary signals frequency content over time. And it also takes some parameters, and you'll see that most of the parameters, they are exactly the same as the STFT function. And it takes an array for a time series of measurement values, sampling frequency, the window. But pay attention now that it defaults to a turkey window with a shape parameter of 0 0.25. So we already seen that here the default is a Han window, but here is a Tucky with this 0 0.25 shape parameter. So even if you use this function with the same signal, the same frequency, uh, sampling frequency, and you use the same number of segments here, the length of each segment, you will get different results because you are using a different window. And this is why I'm once again trying that you pay attention to the default parameters. It's very important to understand what the function is doing, even if you don't set all the parameters. And sometimes you need, for example, if you different windows, they have different characteristics, and maybe you are interested in a specific characteristic, and then you need to use a specific window for your problem, and then you need to change this value here. So you can read the documentation and what we do here, we are creating a function that will plot this spectrogram. We are also using color mesh but with some different values now and we have a different plot here, different colors and we see the logarithmic chirp here. There are many other ways how we can compute spectrograms. There are different types of spectrograms, but this is the basics of spectrograms using SciPy um, signal spectrogram function and the STFT function.